Mark conditions bullish in this bull market. The current bull market rank sitting at 26.37, upper end of this momentum range, upper end of the 20 year range, sitting at the all time highs. Um, and uh, looking for uh, some continued strength here. We've had a really big run here. Let's take a look at buy sell ratio. We're looking at a buy sell ratio currently of 1.86. Bulls in control. We've got a green above red. Anything above this, when we see green above red, that means we have a buy sell ratio that is one or higher. And Brett is continuing that direction. We do see sentiment, which has popped really extreme back up here to this 94 range. It's the highest it's been in the last year as well. If we jump over for the last three years on this, you can see these upper end of these ranges. Uh, that is an area that um, to be aware of that we could see some kind of volatility or retracement at these levels. Uh, let's look at S&P 500. We're seeing on this uh, group right here, we're seeing Russell 2000 leading the charge. So we're seeing those small cap group of, of names. We're seeing technology in the triple Qs, Russell 1 and 3000 also are gaining strength. So we're seeing definitely a, 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 a shift over into a different group of stocks from these large cap into more and small and mid cap stocks. S&P 500 uh, at the extreme end of that momentum range after that big nice move that we've had the last couple of days. So watch to see for some consolidation right here or even potential retracement. Uh, uh, looking back to possibly 585 on support areas uh, if we do start to have a decent amount of retracement. Let's jump over and take a look at sectors. We're seeing uh, sectors improving also. We've talked about this where we want to see the majority in this buy zone and we saw that all shift over in about a day so a aggressive move to the upside still bullish now we're now we're dealing with extremes to the upside uh, but that's um, uh, definitely uh, better than working on an overall downtrend. We've seen gold retrace back to that 246 level. We've also seen silver have a pretty decent uh, sell-off back into that $28 range. And USO, which is oil, uh, trying to gain some momentum here. It's just stuck right in that range, been pretty sloppy for USO for really the last few months. If we take a look at some mu uh, muscle stocks to consider, uh, lots of fantastic companies and in, uh, in this list. Uh, let's take a look at some of the top uh, stocks here. RDW is in the aerospace uh, space infrastructure uh, area and getting nice confirmation. Had big volume. Uh, the the prior trading day, not on Friday, but on Thursday uh, on this support right, right around that 758 area. Keep an eye on RW, RDW and also looking at BYRN, which is in the uh, tech space. Also looking for nice confirmation back into momentum uh, as well. And having some nice momentum from this $9 range to 20, retracing, pulling back, finding support at 50%, and now back into that momentum zone. To, uh, take a look through that muscle stock group today as well. And that'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic day today.